Anaheim looks and feels so different from the other realms. It's warm, like Svartalfheim, but there's a kind of thickness in the air. Egros. Uh, what? Egros. Greek. For human. Egros. I like it. <laughs>
Stay alert. Where the they went? Eaten by a knocking, perhaps. Go. You know, lad, this excursion into Vanai means you've now visited each of the Nine Realms. Huh. I guess you're right. Not many mortals can claim such a feat. Not many gods, either. Even your father has yet to grace the halls of Asgard. I'm in no hurry to do so. Though does Vini said both Frey and Bigbeer were captured. Bigbeer's the light elf who wanted to learn more about that library in Alfheim, right? Correct. An exiled scholar married to a warrior, Bela. Why was he exiled? You'll have to ask him for the full tale. But I take it that he and Bela's quest to unite their people was frowned upon. Wait, Bela's a dark elf? Yes. Wow. Well, that raises even more questions. He's okay. I can sense them up there. It's gotta be their den. Excited to meet Skoll and Hati, lad. I mean, I've heard all your stories. It's gonna be weird meeting them in person. Legend meeting reality. At the very least, it shouldn't fail to entertain. <laughs> uh, hello? I think they're sleeping. Well, there you have it. The legendary celestial wolves, supremely entertaining as promised. Remember their shrine? They didn't rejoin the sky until after the moon returned. And then chased an arrow across the sky. Right, well, best we go find the moon and put it back where it belongs, eh? As if that's a perfectly normal thing to say. The Aenor Yar played a part according to Skull and Hati's shrine. Managed to stuff the moon inside a box, if memory serves. But it didn't say where they took the box. Aye, that's the rub of using prophecy as a map, isn't it? Bit sparse on the details. There's a war camp in the nearby village. A strong fortress to guard their bounty. We will try there first. So besides Hilda's being and the elves, who else is part of Freya's army? Not much army, really. Although Beer Girl was a soldier, once walking the path of a traveler. I imagine he's handy with that enormous broken sword of his. A traveler that doesn't want to kill us. That's nice. Elka! Come on, brother. Come on. 
covered in bifrost. Did you see that? I didn't know they could do that. A new enemy. Stay alert. Yeah? Correct. Hmm. Fitting. I can't believe no one's here. They hide. The Vanir aren't all hardened warriors like our dear Freya. Those who survive the warfare find it easier to hide in the jungle and use nature as their shield. There's the moon. Uh, box? Down there. That's gotta be it. This is definitely an ambush. Yes. We can get to it from up here. Look out! Hold it. Father, shoot strike! <laughs> Oh, my God. 
just hoping that puts a dent in Odin's forces, at least for the time being. I don't think Asgard's running out of soldiers anytime soon. Ready to put the moon back where it belongs? Okay, yeah. That is a weird thing to say. Hey! Hurry! She's getting away! Come on! A double ambush? Okay. See that coming. She's gone again. Hurry, we got to get across. She's gone again! Hurry! We gotta get across! almost exactly how we saw it play out back in Skull and Hathi Shrine. The wolves are back in Vanaheim. We're rescuing the moon. Yes. I remember the prophecy. So, doesn't it make you worried? If everything we're doing now happened in the Yonar Shrine... Remember our agreement. Prophecy will not dictate our actions. Yeah. Our allies need help. That is our focus now. Brother, we've taken a wrong turn. Our thief's gone skyward. Oh, I'm out here. 
Timed almost to grab this while I freed Garm. Uh, I was there, but I, I didn't know. And now you fight to undo the damage. Your guilt is misplaced. Yeah. No, you, you're right. We can return to the den through here. They will pursue. Keep your guard up. Father. How are you so sure we even have a choice about what we're doing? Doubt is a weakness we cannot afford. Who said anything about doubt? So far, we've done everything the Giants said we would. We make our own choices. Nothing forces us. But what if, by doing all this, what if we're walking straight into Ragnarok? Isn't there any way to avoid fate? Your fate? What if we can't stop you from... Would you turn your back on the wolves? On this realm? Remember our agreement. The lad does make some good points, though. As long as Atreus lives, so be it. There's nothing.
just like inside their shrine. If I do this... Fate only binds you if you let it do what is necessary. Not because it is written. Elsa! Lot. They have a gift for us. A way to call them anytime we need them. Feels like they want us to use it at one of the altars. <laughs> Perhaps Freya will know. So in essence, they just gave us the keys of dusk till dawn. Not bad for a day's work. We should head back to Hodas Fini and tell him about all this. Yeah? Yes. Back to the camp. Was it? No. They come back fast, but not that fast. In Asgard, what else did you see of Odin's army? Well, all these Anhariar we've been fighting, they've already died in battle once. We kill them here, and they'll just wake back up in Valhalla. They never truly die. Should it come to war, we do well to have our own endless army of dead soldiers. You mean Helheim's army, like the prophecy said? It will not come to that. Oh! <laughs> 
Like the egros. So, we report back to Hildas Fini. Then what? We came here to help Freya. We will not leave without rescuing her brother and the light elf. Okay, but Odin's not gonna stop searching for mask pieces. That is his concern, not ours. Sure. But if that mask offers all the answers... Then it will surely exact a price. Be wary of shortcuts to knowledge. Yes, Father. <laughs> Do all the plants still want to kill us? No, no. They're only the canopsis ones. The mug belongs to Helka. She's a blossender. Hounds prized for their pinpoint accurate tracking abilities. You'll love her. Kratos, Atreus. That eclipse was your doing, I take it. Thank you for coming. Big Vir used the diversion to escape. What about your brother? We know where they're holding him now. Bela's already prepped the explosives. If you're with me, we can leave as soon as you're ready. I could use another shapeshifter's help. Go with him, Atreus. I will aid Freya. Yes, sir. The fuse is but 30 heartbeats. That's enough. Once you see the signal, count it down. Come, Kratos. We should get moving. I can stoke the fires of those chain blades for you. Good thing we didn't miss this. What'll it be? You still owe me the story of who made these things. Need something special? Wait, 
Feels like there was something else. Oh, hi. Hey, your little one. Well, he's a cutie pie. Should have seen him a couple winters ago. Ain't even at eye level no more. Oh, you hush. Ain't nothing wrong with a growing boy. The wolves gave us a scepter. They will answer, should we call on them. Good. There's a shortcut to Njord's temple we can use in daylight. The Einherjar are holding fair in your father's own temple. It's been empty for as long as I can remember. There's a celestial altar across the river. According to Bigfear, the altars were once used to signal the wolves. And now we have just the scepter to do it. What is your plan? When we reach the temple, I'll fire off the beacon. A signal for Vela and Birger to set off their distraction. The Dark Elf Hive. Nice to not be on the receiving end of it for once. With their attention drawn elsewhere, you and I can assault the main force from behind. While Atreus and Hildesfini slip in to rescue your brother in the confusion. Yes. Once we see their beacon, we'll regroup by the river and escape on Freyr's boat. I take it you have notes. This is a trap. I know, and I don't care. I'm getting my brother back. You're under no obligation to help me. I know. Oh, 
brother. Oh. Covered in blind spots. I take it you have notes. This is a trap. I know, and I don't care. I'm getting my brother back. You're under no obligation to help me. I know. I take it you have notes. This is a trap. I know, and I don't care. I'm getting my brother back. You're under no obligation to help me. I know. Oh! <laughs> 
I take it you have notes. This is a trap. I know, and I don't care. I'm getting my brother back. You're under no obligation to help me. I know. Enemy behind you, Careful, brother. You're covered in bifrost. <laughs> They've rallied more soldiers since our last visit. Mm. Our disadvantages are many. Oh. Alpha. Ah. Uh. 
last. Try dragging the scepter across the bell a few times. Come on, we're making good time. Our actions in this realm follow the prophecy of the giants. Atreus believes Ragnarok is inevitable. The Norns were quite clear on the nature of prophecy. They told us the sum of our choices were predictable. But we have changed, haven't we? Perhaps. The Norn said you'd kill Heimdall, but you chose not to walk that path. Back when we first met, I doubt you'd have done the same. And you? Do you still seek Ragnarok? Odin has much to answer for. If Groa's prophecy is correct, perhaps my realm can finally know peace. Perhaps I can know peace. Forgive me for being a head on a belt, but haven't we all just established how prophecy is pure haver? Gods, Mimir. What? The most annoying man alive. Or 
up ahead. On your mark. <laughs> Enemy behind you, More up ahead. On your mark. More up ahead. On your mark. <laughs> Enemy behind you, Kratos! Right side, incoming! <laughs>
Alas, poor Meathold. It was in our way. Aye, I don't doubt it. Curious, though. What was she doing here? Odin used roots of the World Tree as part of his spell that kept me from leaving Midgard. Neathhog protects the tree's roots, wherever they are. Ah, I see. Odin used her. And she unwittingly paid the price. Classic Odin. Maybe your spear can get us across. Just make extra noise once the assault is in. If we distract them long enough, Hildespini and Atreus will have more than enough time to get in and out undetected. I am not worried for Atreus. He is ready to fight on his own. This is it. There's an altar behind these vines. Call on Skull, please. Are you ready? I am. Are you? I'm not leaving here without my brother. Coming for you, Ingvi. <laughs> Completely giving away your position. <laughs> what idiots! Oh, if it isn't Queen Mistletoe herself. Hilarious, by the way. Been a while. I'm dull. <laughs> and you must be the little half-breed's father. Lucky day! <laughs> you have a lot to answer for, Sunshine. You too, traitor. Better a traitor than Odin's lapdog. Mm. <laughs> the burden is mine. I can help. I know. But you are needed elsewhere. He's right, you know. Sizzles wasn't looking so hot last I saw. I know you didn't want this. But we know how this ends. See you soon. Well, we both know that's not true. <laughs> but don't worry, Frigg. I'll be coming for you and your brother as soon as I am finished. Now, what you got? <laughs> Have some life, Ross. On me! Write him down, Cooper. With your reputation, I thought I would at least break a sweat. Whoa! What did Cool Topher ever do to you?
to buy from. On me! Tie him down, fool Cobra. Not going to lie. I'm disappointed. Oh! 
<laughs> there we are. Armor fit for a cop. Oh, no, 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 You are going to spare me out of pity! <laughs> Let it go, you may live. Is this about the little runt? Oh, now I am definitely going to gut him! <laughs> <laughs> This is your final warning. I don't think a warning is going to cut it. You think you get to just walk away? No. That is not how this works. <laughs> <laughs> Get to decide my fate! You are dead, sunshine. You are in way over your head! Don't you know who I am? I am the Watchman of the AC, the Herald of... Punchy. 
Don't you know who I am? I am the Watchman of the AC, the Herald of Ragnarok. I am going to find that little mongrel of yours and beat his face into a pulp. <laughs> Only one of us is walking away from this. And I'm sure as shit will not be you. Slow it down. How dare you try and spare me? I am growing very sick. I am going to find that little mongrel of yours and beat his face into a pulp!
to us. That was just... Uh, I don't know if we are breaking fate, or fate's breaking us. At least the rescue's going well. Hold up! Oh, the big guy! 
Go! 
Hold them for long.
<laughs> you should have seen your faces. <laughs> Relax. It's flying. We're flying. I knew it would do that. We have guests! I think that's the end of Birger. You think he survived that? He's down there picking the dirt out of his nails with the beast's feathers. We'll see. He... Uh, <laughs> he has to be. We're almost there, Ingvi. Just hold on a bit longer. I don't suppose I have much of a choice at the moment. Cloth and boiling water. Red root and lamb's crest. I know, I know. You think I never staunched a bleeder before? Oh, now don't you go worrying, boss. I didn't go through any of your stuff while you was off being tortured. Ah, damn it, Linda. Easy. Heck you says to me for? I ain't the one who stuck you like a damn pig. No offense. Freya, mind giving her a hand? We're just taking over entirely? Hold still. She'll just get you stable so I can take you to Sindri's house. The rest of my herbs are there. We'll protect the realm in your absence. The four of us. Vadaheim's in good hands. Party at Sindri's house, huh? Wherever that is. Your boat. Nope. Your boat. Go on. Take it. Sail the skies, sun yourself on its bow. You look like you could use it. <laughs> Make a Vanir god proud. He gave you his boat? Nice. He left me no choice. Because it was necessary, not because it was written.
prophecy holds that Galahorn is the Herald of Ragnarok. Can that orb yet? Whatever it does. I read about it in Odin's library. Supposedly it... Hold it, Treyas. We will discuss in private. <laughs> Thank you. Heimdall is dead. Good. Is it? Look, I don't know from faith. But I know Heimdall was a prize-winning taint stain with the capital stamp. If he was gonna hurt your boy, it's a good thing he ain't around no more. The Norns didn't quite see it that way. The opinion of them three shut-in spinsters ain't worth a goat fart in a hurricane. You did what you did. No need to fret about it. A good fit. Hitting the road or chewing the fat? I'm sorry, love. Hero is the one who found me wounded in the jungle when I was trying to. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Helka smells something. Could be important. Maybe we should follow her. Helcus. So, what do you want to do now? We don't have to go straight home, do we? Ah, we can always try finding Helka some other time. What is this? The Crest of Skirnia. Clever one. Almost. I wanted to tell you. I read something in Odin's library about what Galahorn is supposed to do. If blown by a god, it sounds through all the realms and harmonizes the space between them. Well, it's somewhere like Tyr's temple, and it would be like opening up all the realm travel towers at once. It's quite a vulnerability. Wonder why he didn't just destroy it. Some artifacts defy destruction. Well, we should make Freya aware of this. The boss is going to want whatever lead worms you have, so, you know, hit the chime already. Spear would do the trick. Well, happy Ragnarok, everybody! Let's drink. Is it true? Heimdall's dead. I can't believe it. There's no stopping it now. Odin swore peace only so long as you spilled no more Aesir blood. I refuse that deal. Yet he honored it. But now. But what? You and I know better than anyone that Odin's promises never last. We have the advantage now. It's time to bring him down. No. None of you understand what's coming. Odin's vengeance will be his only concern. Not his only concern. The mask. Whatever knowledge it unlocks, that's what Odin wants more than anything. 
If I go back to Asgard, go I back. can't. Go back. Look. If I can finish what I started there, awaken the mask, get answers. Maybe that's our way out of this. But I gotta go soon. Before they figure out what's happened. Joyce, you are home. Do not ask me to put you at risk again. He's at risk where he stands, Kratos. We all are. Anything we do or don't do is dangerous right now. But Odin needs me. He trusts me. I'll be safe there. From a tactical perspective, am I wrong? I don't much like it, but it is our best play. Dividing Odin's focus would buy us time. And give us a pair of eyes in the enemy's inner sanctum. But if there is truly a source of infinite knowledge, you can't let Odin have it. Aye. And once he has what he needs from you... Then I lose my leverage. I get it. I'll be smart. Father, I can do this. Remember our promise. You too. You know what you're doing. I do too, Sam. Well, I still want to hear how you did it. You mean how we did it? Ah, uh, you have me. And therein lies a tale.